Personal or personnel? Which is which? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, this is going to be another uh, homophone horrors video. Uh, ito yung aking video series sa language in which I talk about words that kind of sound like and means and spell and their different meanings. If you haven't seen the other videos of playlist na ito, I've already made a bunch of those. You can click right here sa i button to catch up. Today, it's all about personal and personnel. I've seen a lot of people are requesting this video from me. Kaya ito, pagbibigyan ko na kayo, pag-uusapan natin kung kailan sila tamang gamitin at kung paano siya gamitin in a sentence. And after that, we will have our quick quiz. Now, just a quick little plug. If you are not familiar with it yet, we do have our merch shop. So if you're interested to get this hoodie, the shirts, the caps, and the stuff that I designed to help support this channel, you can check it out at shop.teamlaika.com so that you can represent the team wherever you go. Thank you so much because every uh, thing that we earn from that goes into your whole fund net and also helps support this channel and keep this going, hopefully until we get you at goal, which is to democratize education right here in the Philippines. So thanks to so much sa marami na nag-order before and salamat sa mga mag-order pa you're helping me help more people do this and now that we have that out of the way I'm going to jump into my uh, PC to explain this better to you guys I'll see you in a bit alright so ito yung full discussion natin on personal and personnel ang pinaka obvious na distinction dyan maliban sa spelling niya is yung pronunciation when we talk about personal the stress is on the first part of the word pero yung personnel is on the last syllable so medyo mas mahaba kaya if you're talking to a boss or co-worker na uh, American or British you would see uh, the way that they say these words are actually very distinct then uh, lalo na kung yun ang first language nila and uh, it's a great way for you to spot kung ano talaga yung ibig sabihin nila doon sa sinasabi nila. Kasi a lot of the miscommunication happens doon sa hindi natin alam kung ano ba talaga ang pinag-uusapan. We all know that uh, both of these words deal with people. Kasi nga, yung root word niya, nandun yung person eh. Pero ang pinagkaiba na dyan ay yung kang kailan sila dapat ginagamit. Okay? So, iisa-isahin natin ang mga ito. Alright? First things first, let's talk about personal. Now, ang main na gamit niya is adjective. So, it describes something. Kaya, kadalasan niya, may kadugtong niyan right away na noun. So, when we're talking about personal files or personal conversation, meron siyang describe. Kasi yun ang role ng adjective. We actually covered yung roles ng parts ng speech in an older video. So, if you haven't seen that video yet, i-link ko na lang din dito sa taas. So, adjective are meant to kind of give more character or describe something. And the word personal, it relates to a person or a body. Okay? So when we talk about something that is personal, ibig sabihin related siya sa isang tao. So ibig sabihin uh, may pag-aari, merong distinction, may character, may attitude na solely relating to that person. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng personal. Kaya yung ating word na personalan, di ba walang personalan, ang ibig sabihin nun would be, uh, don't take it too personally. Huwag mo masyadong dibdibin. Huwag mong ariing sa iyo. So, huwag mo siyang masyadong i-take into heart. So, yun yung personal na word. Now, let's take this sentence as an example. Sabi, the CEO is conducting face-to-face -face interviews. His leadership style is very blank. So, pinag-uusapan dito ay yung kanyang leadership style. So, yung leadership style niya is very blank. Ibig sabihin, uh, ang clue natin would be yung way na ginagawa niya yung kanyang pag-lead. Ang sabi dito, nagkakonduct daw siya ng face-to-face -face interviews. So, ibig sabihin, yung, yung leadership niya is very his and his alone. It has to be face-to-face. -face. It has to be interactive, tao sa tao. So, we can use the word personal. Very personal yung kanyang style. Okay? Now, let's go to the word personnel. Pag sinabing personnel, ang main use niya is as a noun. Pag sinabing noun, ang noun kasi ito ay pangalan sa Tagalog. Again, we talked about yung mga six parts of speech in another video. You can watch that note for a full um, explanation. 
Pero ang personnel is the tao himself. Okay? Sila mismo. Yung mismo mga tao. Ito ay body employed in an office or organization. So, pag sinabing personnel, ito na mismo yung mga empleyado. Okay? An example would be something like this. Sabi, a memo was sent to the office blank to let them know in advance. So, kanino pinadala yung memo? Yung memo ay pinadala sa office blank. At sino yon? Sabi, to let them know. So, we are talking about people here. At itong people na ito ay employed sa isang opisina, kasi office something sila, no? So, ibig sabihin, ito ngayon, the best word for this would be personnel. Okay, hindi ko pwedeng sabihin personal kasi yung personal ay within the person himself sa isang tao. Uh, as it's a viewpoint, a relationship, a style, a way of thinking. Ito, these are people themselves. So, mismo mga tao. Okay, mga empleyado. Kaya, personal. Yan yung madaling paggamit sa personal as a noun. Nagkakaroon ng onting confusion pag pumasok na yung personal as an adjective. Kasi yung personal kanina, adjective ngayon, adjective na rin yung personal. Kailan siya nagiging adjective? Ang personal na adjective also deals with people pero limitado siya sa employees in an office setting. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun kung official files na pinag-uusapan, official conversations, official issues na nasa loob ng isang uh, opisina at it deals with employees, then you can use personnel instead of personal. Now, a great way for you to remember this would be the letter E sa dulo ng personnel. Kasi if you notice, ang personal, A yung last na vowel niya. Pero ang personnel, ang last vowel niya ay E. So, ano yung ibig sabihin ng E na, niya, na yan? A great way to remember this would be to think na ang E stands for employee. Bakit? Kasi employee ang limitation ng paggamit na word na personnel. Kapag official, kapag within the office, you can use personnel. For example, this sentence right here sabi, only the HRD head has full access to the blank files. So, tanging yung HRD head daw ang may access sa blank files. Kaninong files ito? Okay? At dahil HR ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, then you can say personnel files. Files ng mga nagtatrabaho sa kumpanya. It becomes an adjective kasi yung personal files, these are files dealing with yung mga personal or employees ng isang kumpanya. Hindi lang siya basta files. Files siya relating to the office. Files relating to the person working in the office. So again, E for employee. Okay? So it's a great way to remember it. Now, the trick would be to know which is which sa mga sentences. Pagdating sa exam, you can expect this uh, sentence correction questions, pwede rin sa fill in the blanks, and a very tricky siya sa spot the error. Kasi maraming tao ang nag auto correct yung utak nila sa personal and personal, akala nila pareho lang yun. So very important for you to ask yourself kung tama yung paggamit sa kanya. Now, the best way for you to see if you're learning is through a quiz. So, we have a quick quiz right here. All you have to do is to choose kung personal or personnel ang tamang gamitin na word dun sa sentence na yon. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
Alright, let's see how you did. So, ito yung ating paragraph. Sabi, when dealing with co-workers, remember that we all have the right to express our blank opinion. And then it goes on to say yung sitwasyon. Para tong, ano, if, if you think about it, this entire paragraph could belong in an employee handbook of sorts. Parang ganun yung dating. Para siyang addressed to employees. But hindi ibig sabihin na nasa, nasa office setting, eh, lahat ng words dito ay personal na agad. We have to take it step by step. So, start tayo dun sa una, sabi. When dealing with co-workers, remember that we all have the right to express our blank opinion. So, we're talking about opinion here. Ito yung tinuturo ng word na ito. So, again, opinion becomes your noun mo, adjective to, pero ang tanong, personal ba o personal? Opinion to eh. So, ang opinion naman, lahat tayo, we're free to each have our own differing opinions. Pero yung opinion mo ay personal, ibig sabihin sa'yo. Walang opinion yung opisina, okay? Uh, as an entity, ang pinag-uusapan dito is that lahat tayo may iba-ibang opinion. So, anong klaseng opinion yan? That would be your personal opinion, okay? Now, next, each of our blank has a unique perspective. So, each of our blank, ano kaya ito, meron do, whatever that is, meron daw siyang unique perspective. Okay? Bawat isa sa ating mga Okay, so, if you can fill in yung word na employee, so each of our employee or employees, kasi each eh, no? each of our employees has a unique perspective. So, ibig sabihin nun, bawat isa sa ating mga empleyado ay may unique perspective. If the word employee works bilang kabal kapalit ng word na yon, then you can use the word personnel. Okay, so each of our personnel has a unique perspective. Next sentence, infighting amongst office blank will not be tolerated. So, ang pag-aaway-aaway daw sa loob ng opisina among mga employees, office employees will not be tolerated. So, again, you can use the word employees na kapalit. Personnel. Pwede pa rin siya dyan. Next, blank issues do not excuse bad behavior. So, anong klaseng issue to? Okay? Issue ba na pangtrabaho o issue na personal? Bilang tao. So, ito, ang bad behavior are usually caused by personal issues, right? Kung problemado ka sa bahay, may, may utang kang malaki, may kaaway ka, may ulo mo. So, this will be personal. Okay? Personal issues do not excuse bad behavior. Next, you have to leave blank matters at home. So, anong matters yan? Sabi, ibanan daw sa bahay. So, this will also be personal matters. HR blank have the right to investigate. So, sino tong HR blank? Tao ba ito? Pwede ba natin sabihin HR employees? Yes. So, this will be personnel. Okay? To investigate any reports made, whether official or blank in nature. So, ano tong reports na pinag-uusapan? Pwede daw silang official or blank. Now, dito na pwedeng magkaroon ng point of contention. Baka kung may magkakamali sa inyo na nadalian dun sa unang anim na questions, dito kayo magkakamali, no? Pero ang clue nyo dito would be this. Dahil meron ng isang mention ng word na official, which would also mean anything office-related, at ang pinapapili ay or, hindi naman end eh. Or, ibig sabihin, it has to be different. Iba doon dun sa unang option. Then, the answer here would be personal. So, reports na pwedeng official or personnel-related or report na hindi official or hindi personnel-related, which are reports na personal in nature. Okay? So, kung ang sagot nyo dito ay NNEL, think of it this way, kasama na yon dito sa official. So, the best word here would be personal. Okay? So, I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Like Amaravilla for yung quick quiz function natin. I post those sa Instagram story uh, as long as may time ako. And you can participate by tapping on the correct answer, you will know right away kung tama kayo o mali. So, also a great way for you to know if may mga updates, bagong content, bagong mga free exercises or worksheets na magiging available sa inyo. Alright? So, again, follow me at Like Amarovilla for more. Alright! I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and ako mag-exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. Thank you so much and again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon. Marami tayong videos na pagparating. I'd hate for you to miss those. And sa lagi natin sinasabi sa team na to never stop learning. Aja-aja, kainian. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.